my 15 week 2 day pregnancy vlog and I'm just going to tell you how I found out I was pregnant, some symptoms, doctor's appointments and stuff like that. So, I found out by random testing I guess. Um, my friend, she said she was having dreams about babies and how she felt like she was sick and wanted to throw up and stuff like that. She thought she was pregnant. So I told her, I said, okay, well, I will get you a pregnancy test and you're going to take it. She said, uh-uh, not unless you take one. So I said, okay. I'm not worried about any test coming out positive. I know I'm not pregnant. But what happened was <laughs> the test came out positive twice. I took two. Came out positive twice and my mouth drops completely. I was like, are you serious? Like, really? <laughs> but I was happy because, you know, I like babies and I've always wanted my own, even though I didn't want to rush it at all. I wanted to be married and stable before I got to break the baby into the world. So, symptoms, nothing but headaches, no morning sickness, no anything. I was good on that note, like, really good. I haven't thrown up yet once. Food cravings. I crave a bit of everything. If I see something, I'll get it. If I just think about something, I'm like, oh, I gotta get it. Like, slushies. I've wanted slushies all the time. Um, chicken. A lot of chicken. Um, pineapples. Strawberries. Stuff like that. But nothing weird. Like pickles and ice cream. None of that. Um, doctor's appointment. The first one I went to, I was 12 weeks, and she just took like six tubes of blood to make sure everything was okay. Checked to make sure the baby was inside of my uterus and not outside of it. Ooh, it just moved. I've been waiting on that because I feel it move every day, but I, I felt it like earlier today, but I haven't felt it really a lot. So I've been waiting on the baby to move around a little bit. Um, so far so good. Although I did have to go to the hospital the other day because I was having really sharp pains. It woke me up at like 5 o'clock in the morning and I was in tears. And I couldn't stand up straight. It was horrible. But when it all came down to it, I had to go to the restroom. So I went to the hospital for them to tell me to go to the restroom. Um, but better safe than sorry i'm happy that i went because i was just scared that something was wrong with my baby but i'm sorry i'm out of breath my baby is just fine um as new parents we're excited to experience it and to give our baby everything that we had and more um my parents are excited and i don't really know how his parents feel about it but they're not mad at all so that's good. Um, so I'm just going to show you my belly now. And that's, that's about it. Um, I got my belly button pierced. So, I mean, it's not pierced right now. But that's what the little hole in my belly that you're going to see is. Oh, the picture's on my wall. My little cousin, she's six. And it's a turkey from Thanksgiving that she made at school. And a little writing and drawing that she did in school as well. And forgive me because my pants are unbuttoned because my pants are a little tight. Um, I'm going to go get some maternity pants. <laughs> Soon though, so <laughs> it's okay. Now, this little thing right here, from 
Holiday will be a little bare by the end of this. And that's that. See the little line? My belly button sticking out. Yeah, a little cut. But yeah, I'm 15 weeks and two days. And uh, I have another dark appointment on the 29th. Maybe I'll find out the sex. Hopefully, cross my fingers. But boy or girl, be just fine with me. Um, I want both. Not right now. But I want one of each. So, whichever one I get first, I'll be blessed with. Have a good day, guys. Bye.